five dimensions of the prophetic. The prophetic is anything that allows you to see, to hear, to know, and also to sense the speakings of God as it pertains to past, present, and future events. Now, there are five dimensions to that speaking of God. When we speak of dimensions, we are speaking about the different sides of the speaking of God. We're talking about the top, the bottom, and the side. Number one, the gift of prophecy. The gift of prophecy is one of the gifts of the Spirit that permits you to see, to hear, and also to know future events. This gift belongs to every believer. In the book of Acts chapter 2, verse 17, it says, In the last days, sons and daughters shall prophesy. In the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 14, it says, You can all prophesy one by one which means every believer has access to this gift of the spirit or this first dimension of the prophetic. Number two, prophetic giftings. When we speak of prophetic giftings, we speak about all the nine gifts of the spirit that are inclusive of the prophetic or that are prophetic, but they do not put you into the category of a prophet. Prophetic giftings are namely, or the gifts of the spirit that are prophetic are namely, number one, word of wisdom, word of knowledge, discerning of spirits, tongues, interpretation of tongues. These five are prophetic gifts which means you can have access to all five. A believer can have access to all five. But this does not mean that the believer is a prophet of God. The Bible says in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 1, you come behind in no gift. It is possible as a believer to operate in all five of these gifts and still not be a prophet of God. These are, this is the second dimension of the prophetic, which is prophetic giftings. Number three, the spirit of prophecy. The spirit of prophecy is the corporate prophetic anointing which comes into a room or a building or an auditorium or a tent where believers are gathered or even a house. When that corporate anointing enters, all believers who are in that room have access into the prophetic, which means they will hear from God, they will see what God is saying, they will know what God is saying, and they will sense what God is saying. We find this also present in the book of Acts chapter 19 where the Bible says Paul prayed for 12 believers who were gathered together in Ephesus and they were filled with the Holy Spirit and the Bible says all 12 of them spoke in tongues and prophesied. This dimension is called the dimension of the spirit of prophecy. And the Bible says the spirit of prophecy is the testimony of Jesus. And so... When the spirit of prophecy, which is the corporate prophetic anointing, this is not an anointing upon a singular individual, but this is an anointing upon an entire congregation. When that anointing is present upon a congregation or a gathering of believers, you could be two, you could be 10,000. When it is present, it is proof. It is the Lord Jesus Christ testifying of his presence number four the office of the prophet the office of the prophet is a ministry gift given by jesus christ himself the bible says this in the book of ephesians chapter 4 verse 11 and he gave some to be apostles some prophets some evangelists some pastors and teachers 
So to be a prophet or to stand in the office of the prophet, you must be chosen by Jesus Christ. You cannot decide by yourself that you are a prophet. And even if you can prophesy, see visions, dream dreams, that still does not make you a prophet. The prophetic office actually does not emphasize prophesying. Rather, the prophetic office emphasizes the revelation of Jesus upon a people and also it equips the saints to walk in the prophetic. The Bible tells us that John the Baptist was the greatest prophet to ever arise. Yet we never see John the Baptist prophesying, but we see him revealing the Christ. And so the, the, the two main purposes of the office of the prophet is to reveal Christ. Number two, it is to equip the saints to also walk in the prophetic. Number five. Bible prophecy. Bible prophecy is the highest dimension of the prophetic. This dimension, no man can operate in it anymore. This was a special privilege which was given to apostles and prophets who wrote the scriptures. They were specially handpicked by God to be the writers of scripture. And in the book of Revelation, chapter 22, the Bible tells us, For I testify to everyone who hears the words of the prophecy of this book. If anyone adds to these things, God will add to him plagues that are written in this book. And if anyone takes away from the words of this book of prophecy, God shall take away his part from the book of life. Now, this is very important. What we do in our time is that we have an understanding of Bible prophecy and we also have an interpretation of Bible prophecy. But there is no man in existence right now who is walking the face of the earth who can operate in that dimension of Bible prophecy. All the men who functioned in that dimension are now laid to rest and are with the Lord. Amen.